welcome back to my channel welcome to tanzania welcome to zanzibar <laughs> world-class services perfect location you know the rooms are something else and in the morning when you're having breakfast hey you guys it's like heaven on earth you know it's so peaceful it's beautiful it's all cultural the design oh my gosh just something else you guys so whenever you come to zanzibar and you're thinking of somewhere to sleep you know spend a little um spend some of your days at the perfect place Okay, I'm gonna leave the link in the description box. Make sure you check it out. So from up here, you get the view of the pool. It's big. And I can't wait to go down next day. I'm not a good swimmer, but I mean, you can't come to Zanzibar and not swim. Either the swimming pool or the ocean. So this is so cool. They have these chairs outside here. If you just wanna come here, you know, relax. It's so soothing. And straight ahead, you have a rooftop. So if you want to, you know, have drinks with friends, it's perfect. You guys, you don't even understand how beautiful and unique this place is. You don't get it everywhere, you know. So having said that, let, let's go in. Let me show you the room. So this room is like perfect for couples, you know. When you have your bay, as in this is perfect. You don't even understand. But this is your like sleeping alone on this big bed. Um, the thing about this place is that it has a huge Arabic influence. Um, the chairs, you know, the mirrors, you guys. Everything about this place is so unique. This thing is actually where you store your clothes. Um, what do you call it? Wardrobe. Something like no. Not Arabic name. No. <laughs> okay, In Swahili, I'll call it maybe like um, not Kabati. It's not, not Kabati. It has a name. And the wood is so unique, you know. It's like ah, I feel like I'm living in the Bible. I feel like these are the houses that the Bible used to describe. Don't you understand? And then the art on the walls, very beautiful and simple. Guys, look at the bed. This is so unique. You don't get this every day. Um, look at this. The Arabic influence is just a major, and it's so beautiful. The lights. Uh, Look at the lights, they are very different, you know, everything about Zanzibar is different. You feel like we're in a whole different country. The walls, look at the walls, the carvings around. It's just so beautiful and so unique. It's so Arabic, you know. It's like a breath of fresh air, something different that you're not used to every day. So guys, let's go to the bathroom. The bathroom is huge. These times, I've not seen them in here before, but I just, you know, they, they, they bring out the look of this place. Look at the lights, man. That's beautiful. I don't think I'll get used to this. You know, it's something you're not used to. It's so beautiful, you guys. Right, so this is the room I've been sleeping in, but there's still so much going on inside here. Like, you know, like, you see, look at this beautiful art. I feel like this will be very expensive. It's a beautiful art of the streets of Zanzibar, you know. It's so beautiful. And then you guys you know how um, how usually in hotels is just like a corridor to the next room or the next house. But here the corridors are so spacious. Um, lots of art. Look at this. You know, it's so different. If you're from I feel like there it's kind of like, you know, Mombasa or um Lamu. Like I think all, all these places have the Arabic influence, very unique, very different. So if you're looking to have this kind of experience, this is where you come to when you come to Zanzibar. You know, if you're tired of the normal, usual hotels, you want something cultural, um, something that actually represents the culture of the people here in Zanzibar, this is the place for you to come. Guys, so I've shown you one room, but inside here we have, you know, different kinds of rooms, different sizes, different styles, so I'm thinking of showing you another. Guys, right, so this room is named after the ninth Sultan of Zanzibar. It's called um, 
Said Khalifa. So let me take you in, but before we go in, I just wanted you guys to look at the doors. It's very different. The size of the door is, you know, huge compared to other doors. And the design is just, wow, you know, very Arabic. So as you go in, um, you've got the drawer here, guys. Again, it's got, you know, the Arabic thing to eat. Spacious for your stuff. Yeah, and of course, they have a safe for you. If you need it, this is a family room. So we have three beds here. Um, and everything here is just, they just have the Arabic theme. I love the, you know, the roof, wooden roof, and then the, the, the beds. The, the design is just amazing. The chairs. And the best thing about this place, according to me, is this. You actually get to have the view of the ocean. As you can see, that's a ship. Is it a ship? That's a ship. Arriving or leaving? But it is so beautiful, you guys. Can you imagine like waking up to this view every single morning? And then this is the last view you see before you sleep. It's just, it's so worth it. You know, and then this place is affordable. It's not like extremely expensive. Let me take you to the bathroom. So this is the bathroom. First of all, the door is very unique. I love how it's shaped towards, you know, the top. That's so cool. And then the bathroom itself is huge. Look at that. about um, where I'm staying is that it's a seafront hotel you know so you get the best view of the ocean and I'm just speechless this place I just made me speechless guys so as you can see um, this is my outfit of the day what do you think about it leave a comment let me know you know what they say when you're in Rome you do as the Romans do so I'm dressed in a dira I had to make sure I carried mine because I have to represent you know I'm feeling so good and it's so comfortable and so simple you guys anyway we could stay here forever because the view is just something else however i'm hungry guys we've got to go for lunch and i've heard about this place everyone is telling me when you come to zanzibar you have to visit this place it's called the uh, lukman lukman restaurant so i can't wait to go and try some zanzibarian cuisine you know some swahili cuisine so let's go I feel like I'm in the coast of Kenya. It reminds me a lot of Lamu. If you've been to Lamu, it's something very similar. The streets are very narrow. And um, you know, the buildings are you know old. You feel like you're walking, you know, in, in the Bible or something. You know, those days of Moses. It's weird to explain. And then we've just come across something very crazy. I've been told that there are two flags up there, one for Zanzibar and one for Tanzania. And I'm thinking, I thought Zanzibar is Tanzania. I thought Zanzibar is in Tanzania. I don't understand. Leave a comment. Can you, if you're Tanzanian, what's going on? I don't understand. So these two places have the two different flags. Two different flags. And Zanzibar is still in Tanzania? Yeah. Why? Does Dar es Salaam also have its own No, no, no. Like in Dar es Salaam, you only find one flag. Guys, so I am in Lukman. This is like 
like one of the most popular restaurants here in um, Zanzibar and it's Swahili cuisine. If you want to get the best Swahili cuisine, I've been told this is where you come. So let's go. And I get to have it only when I go to Mombasa when I'm in Kenya because I have not seen anywhere in Nairobi where they sell it. If you if you if you if you love this juice, leave a comment. Let me know. This place is noisy, you guys. And I think it's just you know proof of how busy this place is. There are so many people. Even getting this table, you know, was just by luck because this place was so filled up. I'm glad to be here. <laughs> It's a popular dish in Tanzania. Yeah. Um, yes, and this is Mohammed. He's been so nice to me. So, and then the guy behind the camera is peace. So anyway, I'm trying this for the first time. So let's see how it goes. Is this the most popular dish in Tanzania? So you guys do you eat ugali in Tanzania? Yeah. You eat ugali, but it's not as popular. Is it so popular? Mix it with the sauce. Take the sauce, yeah. Just take a little bit, then put it on the side, yeah. Then have a taste. Mm. That's better. You see, it's better. So, guys, I'm tasting this piece. I'm, I'm tasting his uh, biryani. Apparently, this has so much inside. It's raisins. Yeah, raisins, raisins, cashew nuts, nuts, and also sleep. And spices, like I think they are I think lemon leaves or something. Okay, let's we'll see. Mm. Okay, so the flavors are more, are more mixed. Mm. 